Welcome. Today's episode of Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro. We have a special one today. Your old Uncle Scott's going to teach you how to make holy moly guacamole. Why do we call it holy moly guacamole? We just do. First important. Ooh. Margarita. That's good. Boys and girls, what's our first number one rule before we get in the kitchen? Your old Uncle Scott likes to go by. We wash, yes, we wash our hands. We do. So. Okay, ingredients for holy moly guacamole. Everyone's different, I understand that. Everyone's ingredients might be different. What I like to use is fresh Alaskan ingredients. Onion, straight from my garden outside. Good. Tomatoes, picked them myself this morning, fresh, always go fresh ingredients. Cilantro, straight from my garden. This is my, sorry. Lemon, we have a lemon tree out back, pick them myself. Pick the right one, it's perfect. Old Mr. Lime here, we're gonna explain that in a bit. I know a lot of people like going with this, but you know, we'll get to that. So we got all this. Most important thing is avocado. When I pick my avocados, I like to pick firm. Doesn't matter though, if it's ripe or not, because the holy moly guacamole does not matter. It's one of those things that you just, just know what to do. Why am I juggling three? Because I can't, but anyway. So we'll start with three. Bowl. Knife. The Alaskan style, I like to go with the Hulu. Start with it, grab it, hold it up, look. Get a spot you like, come around. Should look like that. Probably should be cut a little more, but I like to look at the pit first, see what I'm dealing with. I'm not gonna use that pit. Squeeze it in. Fresh. Next. Ready? Go. Second one. Test it out again. It's good. Dig. Come around. Now, a lot of you are not used to using this. This is an Alaskan specialty. Anything you want. You can hunt, you can cook, you can carve, anything. Do not, if you're not ready to use this, please do not. That's a disclaimer too. You stick with the knife, stick what you're used to. Second cut. Pour it in. season. Third one. Your third one. Remember, there might be people around. You might be talking to someone. What's up? Oh, you want some more? You know, let the let the vegetable, let him, let him have his last moment. Oh, yeah, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Look at that. Okay. So a lot of people don't understand that we leave the pits in. Why do we leave the pits in? Because it keeps the guacamole fresh. You always want to keep at least, we'll go with this one. There's three, one, two, three. We're going to go with two. Don't touch it, right from the side, out. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so here's where we go, onion. Start with little onions. These are, I did this work a little bit, so they're freshly prepared. I like to go not as thin sliced with an onion. A little chunky style. You want that crunch, crunch, crisp taste. When that first tortilla chip, you wanna hear that. That's a lot, it's not the chip, it's the guacamole. Onion. Tomato, same concept. Smell what you got, see maybe a piece. It's one grab, come in, dang. All right, 
né? Sinatra. This we sprinkle. This is what she looked like right here. It's magic. It's called magic. This is the secret of the holy moly. Now, I know a lot of people think garlic needs to be in there. Because why? You think you need a show. You, you think. Here's the garlic right here. Garlic powder. I usually go three swirls each way. Pepper. Salt. Now here's the secret, boys and girls, that your Uncle Scott's gonna teach you. A lot of people think lime. Because why? Because everyone does it. Lemon. Lemon's where it's at. No seeds? Squirt. Juice. 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 We're on to something. We're on to something now. Now it might be important, because while you make guacamole, everyone wants to know the secret. A lot of people like to hide it, their ingredients. I, I agree with that. But in holy moly guacamole, there's no hiding here. Here's the secret right now. Masher. Masher. Mikey, how do you like your uh, guacamole? Now, if someone asks, they say they want it a little creamier, a little chunkier, whatever, you don't listen to them at all. They're not the ones doing it. You don't listen. It's, yeah, you give him one of these, the old Reg Dama. Got it. Yeah, now he feels important. Lose it. Right. Key right here. Remember, people around always have about four or five spoons. You whip it around. Taste. Mm, got it down. It needs more lemon. How much lemon do you put in? Oh, sorry, spit it. And it's been in there. After the taste, you, everyone always asks, Uncle Scott, why don't you go by measurements? Because I don't. Because I don't need to. It's taste. That's why you got four or five spoons here. Come around. More onion. Just roll that around. Always let it sit for a second, get a drink. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, just made some up more. Oh, no, it's not ready yet. Leave it. Never double dip. Run it on Seinfeld. That's why you got four or five spoons. Holy moly guacamole. So now that you've already tried it, you've already tried it with a spoon. Always add chips. Chips! Dip, scoop, stir. That is holy moly guacamole. Most important thing was we always like to stay here at El Scotty Gomez's house. As long as you learn something, that's all I care about. This, you cannot go wrong. You can bring to parties, bar mitzvahs, Christmas, 
Who brings Chris guacamole at Christmas? Well, if you bring holy moly at Christmas time, don't worry, you're good. You're good. Once again, that's another episode of Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro. The most important things, you learn something today. Be better. Life is great. Life is short. And when you're done, there's nothing wrong with a little twist. Get some every time.